A synthetic embryo with a brain and beating heart created by an international team of scientists could be the first step in understanding why some pregnancies fail. Hi there, I'm the Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen, and this is the latest from Study Finds. Please be sure to like and subscribe to get all of our latest updates. Okay, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of discussion about this. Now, the embryo features the foundations of all of the body's organs, including neural and gut tubes that protect tech, the developing spine and intestines. The team from the University of Cambridge and Caltech say the embryos may guide the repair and development of synthetic human organs. Now, I'm not going to get into that, but that could be a legal problem. And it's mentioned here at the bottom of the article at Study Finds. Right now, we're talking about a mouse embryo. Researchers used a combination of stem cells from mice without fertilized eggs or sperm. Lead author Professor Magdalena Zernika Getz said, quote, It's just unbelievable that we've gotten this far. This has been the dream of our community for years and the major focus of our work for a decade. And finally, we've done it. Study authors sparked development of their synthetic embryo by weaving together different cultured stem cells. They represented each of the three types of tissues in the right proportions and environment to promote growth and communication. These stem cell tissue types are one, those that eventually become the tissues of the body, two, those that become the placenta which connects the fetus to the mother, and three, those that make up the yolk sac where the embryo gets its nutrients and grows. Researchers say this early stage is where many pregnancies fail and they would hope to learn more about why. But after successfully assembling into a mouse embryo, the researchers found they signaled chemically, mechanistically, and through touch. Zernica Getz adds, quote, this period of human life is so mysterious, so to be able to see how it happens in a dish, to have access to these individual stem cells, to understand why so many pregnancies fail and how we might be able to prevent that from happening is quite special, unquote. She went on to say, we looked at the dialogue that has to happen between the different types of stem cells at that time. We've shown how it occurs, and how it can go wrong. A major advance is the ability to generate the entire brain, in particular the anterior, a big goal in the development of synthetic embryos. In Professor Zernica Getz's system, this part requires messages from one of the extra embryonic tissues to be able to develop. The legal and ethical conversations will have to be had, and as noted above, Zernica Getz references this, quote, period of human life, unquote. That's going to probably be the major conversation before this goes too far in the human realm. But I'm just a study finds guy, not a legal expert or stem cell researcher. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.